Allow me to introduce you to the Racer Northern Gore-Tex glove. This is our take on the ultimate winter riding glove. And we collaborated with Racer to produce this for you guys. We had great success with them a couple of seasons back coming up with the ultimate heated winter riding glove. So they extended us the invitation to do something that was non-heated and slightly therefore more mass market. And of course, we're really lucky. We're well positioned to be able to evaluate all the different brands that we work with, the techniques that they use, the things that we like and don't like, and all the feedback that we get from customers to basically put that all together and come up with something that I do believe represents the best non-heated winter riding glove in our lineup. And I'm really pleased to introduce it at a price as well that makes it the cheapest Gore-Tex full leather winter riding glove in our range. So this comes in at £108.98 and I think it's a very, very good finished product. So being Racer France, things like the fit, the finish of the quality of the product itself, of course, is going to be top notch. You can head over to Urban Rider for full details on the sizing guide, but basically it's true to that size. A medium being an eight inch circumference around the knuckle on the hand, and nine being a large, and I sit just in between. If you are in between, you could probably go either way, to be honest. I can go down to the medium, but if you are on the eight, stick with the medium, on the nine, stick with the large. So pretty straightforward in that respect. But this is a glove that is a full leather goatskin outer. So leather goatskin being the best, I think, leather you can use for gloves because it's really soft, it's really supple, but it has this high abrasion resistant quality that makes it ideal really in a glove because you get great feedback, you don't lose too much in terms of flexion, dexterity and things like that, but it's still really, really tough and hard wearing. This is a CE approved glove naturally. It also has a really good warm Primaloft insulation liner. And the key thing about Primaloft as liner is it's not massively thick. So you don't get that trap that some winter gloves run into, which is that they're really, really thick and I often describe them as feeling like an oven mitt. So just really chunky, a bit clumsy and you just sort of get that sense of just losing a bit of feel for what you're doing on the bike and a little bit of dexterity when it comes to the controls. You don't with these, there's a really nice balance between the weight of them and the thickness of the glove but still being really warm and doing the job it needs to even in very very cold riding conditions. The Gore-Tex liner that is underneath this goatskin leather outer it's Gore-Tex, so it is quite simply the best waterproof and breathable membrane out there on the market. All products that use the Gore-Tex membrane have to be submitted then for testing and for their approval, and therefore Gore-Tex membranes tend to be more expensive. They also are the highest rated in terms of waterproofing measurements and in terms of breathability, so they perform really well. This is the glove that you want, basically. If you can get it with Gore-Tex and you get it at a price that you can, then do so. So as I say, being the cheapest Gore-Tex winter leather riding glove in our lineup, currently the Racer Northern that we have here. The aesthetics I really love. So we've gone for something that I think represents quite a nice balance between modern and retro, so it should appeal to most people. So this full leather look, first of all, with this nice grain that you get to the goatskin leather, I think makes it look really nice and sort of distinguished. Um, the knuckle protectors are nicely and neatly integrated, so they don't look too racy, even though they are very good and very strong, hard-wearing ABS injection molded inserts. The stitching horizontally going just across this midsection on the back of the wrist, giving it, I think, a slightly more traditional look, but without going too far down that route. You've got elastication around the cuff as well, and this little velvet overlay which is really easy to use with either glove on and a decent amount of opening just the right balance so the length of the glove of course being on the longer side so that you don't get any gap between the junction between the bottom of your sleeve and the glove itself so you're not going to have air rushing up or water getting in you've got a slight degree of extra padding and of that goat skin leather on the palm for extra abrasion resistance you've got a touchscreen panel as well on the index finger so that you can use this with a smartphone or a GPS on the go. So essentially, we think that that is all the boxes ticked that you could want when you're looking at a winter glove, assuming you don't wanna go the whole hog into the heated element world. Early road tests show that this does really do a very good job in the wettest and coldest conditions. We haven't had any really truly sub-zero days yet, but this glove is very much catered and teed up to provide you comfort in those riding conditions. So this will do everything except for the latter part of spring and moving into summer, but autumn, winter, and early spring, this is a fantastic, comfortable, very accomplished glove that I think comes in at a decent price as well. So what do you guys think? Let us know your thoughts, comments, and feedback in the section below, and stay tuned, as always, for more of the world's finest riding gear. Thank you for watching. See you again soon. Goodbye.